Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is grab my free stickers that are on my blog for everyone. So I'm going to go to my website, which is createswithlove.com, and go to the resource library. And I've already entered my password. You can get the password by signing up for the resource library. And I'm going to go to fall stickers with white offset. That is going to download your file down in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to click open. And I'm going to double click. There's the file I want. I'm going to say extract all. Extract. Now when I double click it, it's extracted the file for me. I'm going to close this one and just drag this over here. So this is the file that we're going to be using. So I can close this. And now we're going to do a new project. So select new project. Go to upload. Upload image. Grab your file. Drag it here. As soon as it turns green, you can let it go. Click on complex. Um, I created this file perfectly, so it comes in large, but you can zoom out. You can see that there's nothing you need to do. It's already a PNG file. There is no background. Click continue. Click save as a print and cut image. You can name it a keyword if you like. I'm going to use fall and upload. Now we can put it onto our canvas. So click on it and then click insert images. And of course, the only thing we need to do since files do come in here too big, this is why you have this little exclamation mark warning on the right in the layers panel, is all Cricut uh, print and cut sizes need to be 6.75 wide and 9.25 high. That is the size that I designed the file, but for whatever reason, when files come into Design Space, they're they're just really big. All right, so we got 6.75 for the width, 9.25 for the height, and they are good to go. We can go ahead and click on Make It. Click Continue. Click Send to Printer. I like to remove the bleed on mine, and then I like to use the system dialog. Choose print. If your system dialog, if you don't see it, it might be behind this window, just to let you know. So what I'm doing here is I want to go to my preferences. And I want to make my colors natural, and I want to make them from normal to best. I keep mine on plain paper. It depends on your printer if you have any preference. Anyway, this should be fine. You don't, for this type of project, you don't have to do anything in any of these other ones. And again, it's going to depend on your printer. But basically, you're wanting to change your, your color mode and check for your print quality. I always go for best when I'm doing stickers. And then click OK. And then click Print. And now it's going to send it to the printer. Make sure that you load your printer paper correctly. For mine, I have to turn it upside down in the tray. When I do that, it comes out and prints on the top. So it depends on your printer. You can Google um, your printer to find out if you need to. You can just put an X on one side of your paper, run it through, and see which side your X is on, and you will know how to load your sticker paper. And I will meet you over at the Maker. Okay, so this is the sheet that I just printed right here. So it is ready to be laminated. This, the black line, if you're not familiar, are the registration marks that the Cricut needs to read to know where to cut our stickers out. This, I want to show you, this is the difference between two different types of stickers you can make. This kind right here is when you print a full sheet of stickers, you might have two sheets this way of the like say where you have like six or eight little small stickers per sheet but basically this is what's considered a kiss cut where the stickers will stay in the sheet when you give them to friends or 
or to sell, you would trim off these registration marks. And then kiss cut means that the sticker peels from the backing. So you physically hand this to your customer and they peel off the sticker when they want a sticker. This sticker is the one that we're making today. This is the laminator or the, the laminator stickers, the laminated stickers. So basically when I, the products I use, so this type of sticker, just so you know, you would peel it in the corner, peel it apart and stick it onto whatever you want to stick it on. These are the ones that are more, you could put this on a water bottle and be confident that it's not going to peel off. It's going to stick to your water label. And if it gets moisture, you will be okay. Nothing is waterproof in my world when it comes to the stickers. So I just think it's a really, really good water resistant. Okay. Now let me show you what I'm using. This is what I'm using. And again, this says waterproof. I think if you can see it a little bit better or the glare, I think it was probably good. My lights are so bright. So basically this says waterproof mat for inkjet printers, eight and a half by 11 inch, 100 sheets. I get it from literally from online labels.com because I order a lot of them, I get them in the waffle packs, but you can also get these on Amazon. I'll be sure to link them down below if they are still on there. And then again, see it says waterproof, but I personally don't think anything is waterproof, but just take that with a grain of salt. My opinion that is, <laughs> um, to me, proof means proof and it just, it can't be anyway. So here's the, uh, Self-adhesive self laminating sheets, they come in 9 by 12 a pack of 50, and you can see right here it says no lamination machine required. The beauty of that is if you don't want to use a laminator to make your stickers laminated, you can um, use something like, like a squeegee when you peel back the laminating sheet. As you peel it back, you can just kind of smooth it, right, to try to work out any type of bubbles as you're peeling away the laminating sheet. So that's a personal preference. I found that I kept getting bubbles no matter how hard I tried. And so I tried my laminator with no heat. So a cold laminator. I My laminator is can go from cold to warm. They sell them. I'll try and find one and link below for you. So here are what I use. And then I, I like to just write the size that I trim my laminating sheets. If you use a Cricut Maker, you don't have to trim, but I have found that I have better better luck if I do trim. If you use a Cricut Explorer, you definitely want to trim your laminating sheet inside of these registration marks. So that's what we'll be doing today. That way you'll see no matter which machine you have, this process will work. Okay, so let me set this aside. Here is our paper trimmer. This is what the laminating sheet looks like. Let me get these out of the way. Okay, so they look, they're shiny. This is the laminated, this is the backing sheet, and this is where you want to peel. But first we're going to trim to fit inside of the registration marks. So to do that, oops, it's upside down, and any paper trimmer will do. Don't want to trim this, let me put that there. Okay, so we want to do 9.25, or wait, 7 point, I'm sorry, 7.25, on the peel here side. And then 9.25, make sure that it's the peel end is on this end. You want to do 9.75, anywhere between 9.50 and 9.75, depending on the sticker sheet that you're cutting. Okay, and there we have it. Now we get to laminate. So let me get my laminator. This is the one that I've had for years. It goes from zero to heat one, two, three, four, five. So I really love this one. It gives you a lot of options. I started buying this when I was doing foil on, on crafting projects and fell in love with it. But like I said, I don't even know if you can still get these. Um, she has a lot of great products if you do, if you can find them. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of other laminators that you can find as well. Okay, but it's on zero just so you know that there is no heat involved with this at all. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off where it says peel here. Now we flip this over. I like to do it upside down so I can line up the very top of this peeled part to the very edge of this on the inside of this black line. Okay, so try to get it as straight as you can. And I love these because of this, it only gives you that strip. It really helps you line things up perfectly. That's one reason why I like this brand, the way they designed it. It's just perfect. So now let me move this forward. Let me show you one thing, though. What I'm going to do is I peel it back. I'm going to peel this up about two inches, just enough for me to be able to feed it through the laminator and still hold on to it. What I don't want is for this to slip down because if you do, you'll get a ripple or a fold. Okay. So I'm just going to keep holding this like this, just so I can pull my laminator forward. Usually I wouldn't be moving it. <laughs> I personally like to do this on the edge. It makes it easier, but I'm afraid if I do it on the edge, it will be out of the camera for you to see. So I'm going to try and do it this way. Hopefully I won't get any wrinkles. Okay, so here is our sticker paper. We're going to feed this edge through the laminator. And as it's going through, as soon as it starts feeding in, so as it feeds through, basically what I'm doing is slowly pulling the sheet back. And all I'm doing is preventing it from, from the sticky part of the laminating sheet from hitting the sticker sheet. I want them to go through the laminating machine at the same time. And that's what's going to help you get not so many bubbles. I really love this process. It was a little bit awkward doing it further on my desk. Like I said, I like to do it on the edge, but my camera uh, is not going to move that direction right now. So you work with what you got. Okay, so let me get this out of the way, turn it off. So here it is, perfectly laminated. It's nice and sturdy. Now all we need to do is line it up. You can see all of the laminating sheet is on the inside of that black line. So now we just need to put it on our mat. I've got a pretty sticky mat here, green one. You want to line up these edges right in this corner here as close as you can. But those registration marks are good. Cricut's going to find them and know exactly where to cut your stickers. Okay, make sure it's stuck good. And then basically we're going to Okay, so as you can see, it shows that we've printed here. So now we just need to set our sticker material. I have a custom setting for laminated waterproof stickers. So I made this setting myself. I don't want to show you how I made it right now because I don't want to mess up this project here. So as soon as we go through this, I will show you how to make your own personal settings for laminated waterproof stickers that work with both my Explore and my Cricut Maker. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select this material. And I like to do more. And all it needs is your fine point blade. All right. So I'll meet you back over at the maker. We'll cut these out. And then I'll share with you how to set up your custom settings. Okay. So now we can load our mat. When this light flashes, you can press this button. 
it's going to go through the process of reading the registration marks. So with the Cricut Maker, and I've got super bright lights in here, it doesn't have any problem reading the registration marks. But sometimes with the Cricut Explorer, make sure you have light in your room. Now, this is super bright, but you just don't want to do, you don't want to make stickers in kind of a, a dusky type light room, right? You want to have a light, a good light. And then again, that's why I showed you how to make your laminating sheet smaller than this here. I see people use scotch tape to help cover the glossy, but honestly, I don't really like wasting that tape. I think that there's ways that you can work around and it comes out just fine. So now it's going to go through and cut out each sticker because, right, these are the ones we're going to literally just, each one is going to be a separate sticker. So I'll let it cut through and then I'll, I'll go over how to make the settings for you. Okay, so we can unload, or before you unload, if this is your first time cutting stickers with this setting, so before you actually unload your mat, just lift up and make sure, I don't think this is in camera view. All I'm doing is I'm lifting up. I think you can see this now. And I'm just making sure that my sticker did cut all the way. It looks really good. So I'm good to go. But I wanted to show you that tip. So in case it didn't cut through, then you would just hit the C button one more time and it'll go through the whole cutting process again. Okay, so there's that little tip for you. So when it's when you know for sure it's cut good, go ahead and unload. And then there we have it, perfectly cut stickers. And then you can just go ahead and I like to turn them upside down and just peel them off backwards. It just gives you less curling that way. Some people like to use a scraper, so it's just your personal preference. That one started to actually undo. <laughs> Whoopsie. So let me just show you if you do one up. So again, your personal preference on how you want to undo them. Some people use a scraper. So... I think whatever works for you is what works best. Okay, so here are all of our awesome stickers. So for the one that I started to unpeel, it got a little bit rippled. Poor guy. Okay, so how awesome and how cute these came out. Okay, these are just perfect, ready, nothing else you need to do to them. They are ready and good to go. All right, let's head on back over and I will show you your customized setting that works with both the Explorer and the Cricut Maker for cutting out these laminated waterproof slash resistant stickers. Okay, you've seen how awesome these stickers cut using my customized setting. So let's go ahead and get you set up. So go ahead and go to the three bars in the upper left hand corner so whether you're on your home screen or your canvas it'll show and go to manage custom materials you want to select the device you're going to be using so i'm going to select the maker you can select your explorer make sure you have it turned on so it can locate your machine okay so just make sure your cricut maker or explorer is powered on and hooked up to bluetooth or usb and then now you're going to go down to the bottom and add new material. Now I'm going to call mine something different because I already have my setting in here. So I'm going to call mine the new laminated. So you can just call yours laminated. 
waterproof stickers. Apparently, I want to space there. Okay, so hopefully this will let me do it just like this. So I'm going to click Save. It's going to put it up here, and now we get to select whatever settings we want. So this comes in handy for not just stickers, but for any type of project you're working on. If you find a specific something needs more pressure, you can make your own custom settings. So this right here is for your pressure. Currently, you see here, it's at 175. I want more pressure. I want to bump mine clear up to 350, so all the way at the top. Okay, the highest it can go is 350. Now I'm going to, this says off, this is how many times it will cut. I set mine to cut each sticker two times. And then you can change your blade, but I keep mine at fine point blade because it works perfect just like that. Okay, so you've got your name, you've got your pressure setting, how many times you want it to cut, and which blade you're going to be using. And then once you're done, Click Save. So now, as you can see, it's listed right here. So let me just go ahead. And click Done. So let's pretend like I made this. I'll hit Continue. I'll say that I've already printed it. Now here is my original. If I wanna find the one I made, I'm gonna hit browse all materials. And then I think it's at the bottom if I remember correctly. Let me just see. Nope. Somewhere in here there's actually, there we go, my materials. So you can see here is my material, so it was about, you can see how far down, if you look at the scroll bar, that's about how far it's down. So this is the one I originally had. If you put a star right here, it will make it one of your favorites. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to make it my favorite. And then I'm going to click on it, right, because that's what I'm going to use, and then click Done. And then now you'll see it made it as the new laminated waterproof stickers. And that's all you got to do. I always add more pressure for my stickers. I just got in a habit for doing that. I don't add more pressure when I do the Kiss Cut settings, okay, which is already in Cricut. Just look for Kiss Cut settings. So this is what works. I hope you got a lot out of this because I want to have you guys be comfortable making a ton of stickers. They are so fun. All you need are PNG files and just make as many stickers as you like. All right. Remember to create with love. Bye.